Hey guys, it's Peter Noir Ice Cream Bar. So it's been about like a year, maybe. Not quite a year, but it's been a long time since I've done an inspired elixir video. So I thought, hey, let me get back to a submission that I had in, um, what month was it? September! Wow. Really, really on top of things every day. So anyway, I am here today with Jessalyn, maybe? Is your name? And Mika, right? Mika? Okay, so Mika is a Fairyland mini fee um, Mika. So yes, shares his name with his sculpt. And we're going to make a pretty sugary drink today, which is my personal probably least favorite flavor of beverage, or flavor, flavor type, I guess, of beverage. So it's gonna be a blast. I literally have not used my cocktail shaker since probably last summer, so. <laughs> like a beautiful blush apricot kind of lovely I wish it was spring kind of drink but I'm looking outside and it is actually physically literally snowing why sweet things just always taste like melted popsicles to me that's what they always taste like I thought a teacup would be like a really cute way to serve this because it's like it's like a cup of tea but it's not because it's Alcohol, alcohol tea. So let's, while we're sipping our wonderful drink, let's learn more about Mika. First of all, he was a Grail doll. Let's all just like have a clap. Yay, acquiring your Grail doll. It's so fun. So I am I mean, that's always really exciting when you get your Grail doll. I feel like that means a slightly different thing than I think it means, but maybe it means the same thing that I think it means. That means like the doll that you thought you would never get, and then you did get it. But then also, I feel like people say it like, oh, I just really, really wanted that one, and then I got it. I don't know, what am I even saying? Is there even a difference in what I just said? The other really super awesome thing about this like sculpt specifically, this doll, this ball jointed doll, it helped her in writing her story a lot is what I was trying to communicate. What is, what is words? So anyway, all that stuff is awesome, but I bet maybe we should talk about his character a little bit. He's 19 years old and he's an actor and he's known for being like emotionally bleh, unavailable. Emotionless and fake, I believe, were the words used, but he's, a, he's apparently a very good actor, so it sounds like maybe he's, he's really good at um, disassociating. So that's always a good survival skill. Survival skill. See how emotionless you are after a couple of these. Ha ha, ha ha. Oh, that sounded really creepy. Please drink responsibly. I feel like you can kind of tell from this picture, right? So he, he kind of dresses like dark and grungy, but then also really likes like cute and fluffy things and the color and, and you know, teacup and stuff. But you know, he's got, you know, these darker colors and then this like kind of flippy emo hair, but then this cute little bracelets. Just cute little, yeah, little bracelets. I used to wear lots of bracelets. I used to be like you. But then my wrists were small, very small little child hands. They're really weird. And then people, people don't believe me and they're like, hold your hand up to my hand. And they're like, ugh, I'm so sorry. Sweet Mika, sweet Mika. Sweet little Mika Knight. That's his, that's his acting theme song, which isn't a thing, but um, you ever try and do that? You see like a doll photo or like a photo you took of your own doll and you're like, what if I did that pose? Would I look nice? Probably not. Probably, where's, okay, like this, like this. Mika, sweet Mika. Oh, I remember being 19. I was really into a song that I can't repeat the lyrics to because they're inappropriate. 
sip on the drink. I am going to leave you all now. Uh, let me know if you like this drink, if you decide to make it, and definitely check out more of Mika on Jessalyn's Instagram. Instagram.com slash Eriex, dolls. Yeah, that was it. I'm just gonna put a link in the box below. How about that? How about maybe that will work? Anyway, if you guys want to see your Ball Joint Doll character changed into a beverage, you can check out the link below. It's also on my website if you're kind of scrolling around in there. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you, of course, to Jesslyn for collaborating with me. It was super fun. Sorry it took me actual months. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen again. Anyway, thank you guys so much. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!